Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's Bowser time right off the bat. Yeah, no Peach segment this time because obviously she's in trouble. Well, we're here. Now where's this stupid Poshly Sanctum? A crystal star is there, right? So they say your future of this. And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. No, oh, it locked out. Right, about time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go! Uh, got anything else more to say here? This place is so classy. I wouldn't mind spending my old age here one bit. Yes, get a little rambler, a porch swing perhaps, but I digress. <laughs> You're noxious, this. The sanctum lies before us. A crystal star will be ours! Um, same thing, okay. Moving on. Hey, how's it going? I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? What? That's dis disgusting! Get away from me, psycho! You can't have my horns! <laughs> this is for trying to take my horns! You're fireproof, aren't you? Anyway, just to get my frustrations out. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just here for a crystal star. Oh, hello there, guy. Poshly Heist is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, uh, you know, guy, I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? <laughs> Doesn't believe Bowser in the slightest. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Um, hmm. Koopa Coots. <laughs> I'm the great Koopa Koot, all-time ancient babbler. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Mister, that name stinks. Uh, what if I say businessman of legend? <laughs> I am Bowser, businessman of legend. Fear my accounting. <laughs> oh, businessman? Like business trips, bribes, and brown noses? Oh my! <laughs> wow, tough life, huh? So, mister, are you in charge of the coffee maker or what? <laughs> um... Evil King Extraordinaire. Oh, I am Bowser. Bowser! Evil King Extraordinaire! Oh, and he runs. <laughs> Glad I chose that one last. Yeah, it looks like I can't uh, chat with him after that. I <laughs> um, just want to see this corner. Nope, no one there. Oh, look. My heart trembles. The fountain, so elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant, as usual, my dear Gold Bobbin. Indeed. Surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest. One cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet, how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa! I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me. Seriously. <laughs> I talk to you again. Uh, oh, no. Same dialogue. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Well, that was fun. Let's go to the Sanctum now. <laughs> yep. It's locked. It won't budge. Mm. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> yep, it opened. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. Look how happy he is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're in. Let's go steal that crystal star. I was already taken by Mario. Uh-oh. It's the red herring. Yes! This is it, Haggy. This is finally it. <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star getting guy. <laughs> She's laughing in the background there. Well, laughing in the back of him. I don't know if that's a laugh of joy or a laugh of making fun of Bowser. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. Face off between two brainiacs. <laughs> What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... 
Mmm. Third Koopa Coot. I'm the great Koopa Coot. I'm taking this. Mess with me and I'll bore you to death. <laughs> I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. Yes, a fake. If you want it, it's yours. Oh, what, what a fake. <laughs> Look at this fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so posh. I wish I could have chosen another answer there. <laughs> Just to see what else would come out of that. I bet the same thing would happen no matter what anyway. It, if it is, if it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. <laughs> Jeez, he's gonna have issues on his adventure now. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? <laughs> Lord Bowser! It just lands on his head. <laughs> ah, Paragoomba, what are you so worked up over? Hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir. Uh, and, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and it's headed for the thousand year door. Oh, what? The thousand year door? What the heck? What in the heck is that? The thousand year door. An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. Ugh. And I'm going there too. Immediately. And I'm gonna ruin Mario. Sure, he will. <laughs> will you now? Luigi. Well done, lad. Way to not fail. Yet. <laughs> not right now. Alright. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Corky. Now, we can open a thousand year door. Ah, yes, but... Uh, we still don't know where the Princess Peach is. Hmm. Well, let's head back to Roqueport, eh, old boy? Perhaps Professor Frankly can help us find our dear Princess Peach, hmm? Yeah, maybe. Notice that this room is locked again, despite these um, uh, keycard slots being uh, already, you know, active. They're green. So, something's going on here, isn't there? Hmm. Hmm. It won't open. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. All right, where should we go next? I suppose sub level two because it's got the teleporter. La, 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 la. Hmm. Oh, look at that! It's locked. This is unnerving. Locked too. Okay, I'll just. Oh, that's rather odd. Looks as if we can't go back this way, old boy. You better look for another way out. Okay, spoiler alert, everything is locking you in. So, you've gotta find, say, a connection to help you get out of this place. So, let's go to sub-level four. And there we go. And now to our right. You remember text room? It's open now. Where are we now? Hmm? Hmm? It can't be. You are Mario. Are are you not? It's alive, but how? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. That is why I, I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I am so, so sorry. Most of my data was er erased, and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power, with only cached memory. Trying to stay operational. But, Mario, you know that the princess is not here, do you not? That uh, Peach, pardon me, I misread that. Please save Peach. Please. Please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Oh. 
Well, but backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Roadport. Teleporter room is on sub level two of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Peach is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. Oh. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. You not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a mach machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you. For. Me. Use an external hard drive or something to back yourself up. We will, Tuck. So, hurry to the teleporter. Room now. Mario, save her. Hmm. Well, tech system failure reported. Mario, you must save the princess for that tech fellow as well as ourselves. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. He's gone. Well, it's gone. Probably he. Could be a she. I'm gonna say it, because it's computer. Anyway, red alerts, as you can tell. But, now the teleporter room is unlocked, so... Let's go up to sub-level two. Hmm. Love the red tint on things, looks pretty nice. Alright, here we go. Teleporter room. Oh, oh, this isn't the one. <laughs> That's the Yucks breeding facility. It's the one over here. There we go. Voila. Alright. Let's get off the moon. Ooh. Goodbye, tech. Peach. Goodbye. And from the looks of things, the whole base exploded. Hmm, 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 hmm. Crockety, I say, old boy. Did you just hear something? It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently it doesn't work. Uh-oh. So it looks like we can't go back. Well then. Well, if it isn't Mario. It's Frankly! Over here, son! You brought the crystal star back from the move through, didn't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? Talking to my good ear. The Exonaut Fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Certainly, but the, the x naught boss took her and made for the Thousand-Year Door. Ah! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand-Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. And you didn't stop him? Okay, I guess you couldn't. <laughs> Pardon? But what? Dear fellow, you led me to believe the door would open with all seven crystal stars? Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. You must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dwell. You must come immediately. Um, couldn't you go the other way? I suppose you can go either way. Alright, so let's go and... I am always interrupted by email when I'm... <sighs> Let's just check it. <laughs> Mailbox SP, RDM final issue. 
Uh, Rogue Port today in a shocking series of events today. Local authorities report that Zesty, oh no, delivered a left hook to the jaw of Garibald Flavio <laughs> late this very af afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fiscuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio was recovering from temporary memory, memory loss, Zesty had already been approached by Glitzpit Town Scout, Don <laughs> Kumbadi. I think this kid's got spunk. We'll take the word out, but we'll take the world by storm, said Goombadi. <laughs> That was really the best one yet. <laughs> Shopper 4 to go. This week we have an exclusive, explosive exclusive on the shop and far outpost, Northwinds Mart. It's so cold there that all the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us a fascinating variety of goods as the sweet face little miss explained, it's cold out, but I do best to explode inside the shop <clears throat> to warm place up. Da? So come on in. This place is big too. Folk, uh, this place is big, too, folks, so we haven't even seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourself. Uh, Cooking for Rookies. This is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies. And just to make sure we leave you with a smile on your face, our last recipe will be for couples cake. Just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes, then drop in a snow bunny and presto! Before your very eyes, the mixture will congeal and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. This is it, dear readers, the final issue. We have at the RDM office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. May we meet again, perhaps sooner than you think. Wink wink. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and meet with Frankly at the Professor, uh, Professor Frankly at the Thousand Year Door later on. I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part. This music is so catchy. Slow circles.